Okay, well, <laughs> this is awful. All right, I've got two villagers in there. But I don't want them to get destroyed after all that work of dragging them over here. So I've closed it in. There's a light in there so that nothing will... Sp There's two torches there to keep anything from spawning in there with them and killing them. But I've got about five pieces of bread, loaves of bread. So, yeah, this isn't going to get done today. I've got... <laughs> I've still got other things to do. I'm going to have to stop. And this probably took already. I don't know. 45 minutes, almost an hour, messing around with this. Not constant, but uh, we've got two villagers in there, okay? I covered them, I torched it, lit it up down in there so nothing can spawn with them. And now what I'm going to do is go back to our little wheat farm that we have over here. And the wheat that we have in the in the mansion there. And I'm going to get as many loaves of bread as I can get. I'm going to start breeding up the villagers in the iron farm. And it must be 20 that we need because we've got 20 beds in there and 20 workstations. So that's going to be a lot of populating down there in that hole. I forgot that it was this involved. It's nowhere near as involved as the other one was, but uh, I still I still claim it's pretty it's the easiest iron farm that I've seen. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut up all that wheat and make as many loaves of bread as I can. So we can start breeding them up. I don't even know if I've got do I have any wheat in here? Yeah, I got some. <clears throat> We're going to see how many uh, loaves of bread we can make. And see if they'll just start breeding up like crazy for us. Well, where's the loaves of bread at? That was right here. Down. <laughs> I, don't, I don't even know where the loaves of bread are now. Let's put it on all. Huh. Got all that wheat and I can't make bread? I know there's a way to make bread now, isn't there? No. There it is. There. We made 70. I don't know if that's enough to breed up 20 uh, villagers or not. What I really want to do is get them going. Because this is probably the most tedious part. I'm going to go ahead and get all the wheat too. I'm not going to get over there and uh, <laughs> still have this issue of uh, messing around with Trying to get villagers to populate our iron farm. Let's see how much wheat we've got here. Oh, that's not even growed yet. That's some growed here. Whew. Okay, well, I'm going to end the video here. It's going to have to happen another day where we finish the. Uh, let's see, we have populated the uh, woodland mansion here. Too bad I can't breed them up with just regular old uh, sheep meat or beef or any of those things because I've got tons of that. But I think I'm going to have to get a bunch of loaves of bread <laughs> to, to breed up 20 villagers over there. And I, I should, I, I'll give a little bit of video in, of the populating of the iron farm because it is, again, a little bit tedious there. When you're breeding them up, they're trying to make iron golems in there the whole time. And uh, that becomes a problem. Plus, you got green coats that start showing up in your iron farm. You got to kill them out. But what we want is 20 regular villages, no green coats, down in that hole where I've got those other two moved to. Once we get that bred up to 20, we'll have to kill any golems that have spawned down in there and then we'll build a uh, platform above them they won't spawn the golems down there anymore because it's not tall enough for them they'll start spawning them on top and we'll have the water that pushes the golems right into the 
lava kill chamber or whatever it is. We'll show all that. So far from what you've seen, I think you can get to where I'm at pretty easy. Well, as easy as I did. And we'll get the iron farm going. But today, gotta stop. Gotta do, got chores and things to do. So we're going to end this video nowhere near as quick and easy as I thought it was going to be. But, hey, you can always go to the next video and the next video and backtrack on videos. I would say that if you're going to build an iron farm, you should watch uh, Noise Gaming do it. And uh, remember to go down nine deep, not just seven. And if you watch mine, you'll see what I mean by a... Uh, stone slabs all around it. If you've watched my other videos, uh, you've seen the iron farm we built by the Trade Center. It works. Works great. I've got four, what, three or four chests completely full of iron over there. <clears throat> and this one, I'm hoping that there's no uh, caverns around that's going to make it not work. After all of this. Thing is, I've already got the two vill villagers so if I gotta move it, I can. It will be major, a major setback. But this has been quite a while messing around with this. I thought I was gonna be able to do it in 30 or 40 minutes and do it all in one live video, but uh, I forgot about the populating of the farm and the. Uh, I thought it was 10 villagers, not 20. <laughs> But most of what I've done so far has been all all from memory. I put these torches around so I know that this right here is the hole. I could I could actually uh, just do this. Yeah. So we know they're right under there. I'll have to go back in. I'll have to breed them up. And uh We'll go from there. I'll show it as I do it. I, I really do got to stop now. When I come back on, we'll go live again, and we'll we'll populate the hole there, the the iron farm, and then put a platform over that, and I'll show how the rest is built. If anybody's even interested after this mess. All right. So next time. Till next time. See you. Bye. <laughs>